Hello guys, I'm Alejandra with IoT Beats. Today I'm going to talk about a product developed by IoT Beats called the Modibus Box. This is an IoT product designed to collect data from many industrial devices that use Modibus RTU Active Space protocol. Among these devices are variable frequency drive, energy meters, sensors, and PLCs. At IoT Beats, we're focused into the development of clear IoT hardware and software solutions that facilitate collecting data from industrial devices into cloud IoT platforms. Our industrial system technology expertise helps us to better understand customer needs. Our passionate team continues to deliver results with high excellence in all we do. At IoT Beats, we enjoy developing IoT connected products and solutions that will speed up integration of industrial controllers into the IoT world, such as variable frequency drives, modulus RTU sensors, and PLC. We design and develop our product, hardware, firmware, and applications into the United States. We're pleased to assist our clients with full technical support of our devices, as well as preparation, implementation, and deployment of cloud services. In addition to providing free consulting services, to assist clients reimagine their online census preference, our team will have to define what technology is best suited for customers' applications. With solid expertise developing IoT solutions based on Wi Fi, LoRa, LoRaWAN, and narrowband IoT. Modibus Box is connected to slaves using RS485 a network maximum of four slaves that can be connected a single con Modibux box. We are planning to increase this functionality to a maximum of six slaves. Modibux box gets connected to the internet using Wi-Fi connectivity, which makes it very convenient in places where there is no Ethernet wiring infrastructure available. Modibux box is an easy and flexible setup. When it's powered for the first time using 24 volts, which is usually available in BFDs for its digital input, the device automatically creates a Wi-Fi access point. Using your computer or phone, you can connect to it, then you use any internet browsers to access the embedded web page. Host it on the device and set the configuration parameters like scans for Wi-Fi stations. Then you add multiple slaves from drop-down list, select slave register. Finally, we need to set the MQTT connection, profile, or server, where we want to send the slave's information. Later on, we're going to show a video of the setup web interface so you can see how easy the setup is. In this demo, here we have several multiple bugs sending data to IoT Cloud Platform UV Dots. This multiple box is connected to ABB BFD Drive ACS580, the most important BFD parameters that are sent over the cloud. We also have a second multiple bus connected to Danfoss VLT FC102. The drive data is sent to UV dots. The third multiple bus here is connected to a multiple energy meter and ABB ACS310. In this case, the data is sent to Node Red, which is an open source platform of IBM for IoT. The same data from these two devices is sent over InfluxDB and Grafana, which is a pretty good cool alternative for IoT monitoring. So up next, I'll show you the Modibus box configuration interface and the IoT monitoring side. Thank you for your attention.